Thank mm-hmm. you. 
want to make sure you guys can hear me at home. Can Nancy, are you there? Can you wave? Yes, thank you. Hi, good morning, everyone. We'll just start in a few moments. We're waiting on a few more people. Just a couple more moments. If you need any blocks or straps, they're in the corner here for the new people. Uh, if you need water, there is a bin out here that will give you water if you push the button on it. All right. We're going to begin in child's pose today. And those of you that are new, my name is Andrea. Welcome to class. Hello. This is an all level vinyasa. So Go at your own pace. If you need to take a break at any point in time in this practice, take a break. All right. So open your knees up nice and wide. The big toes will be touching in the back. Just settle in here, taking the first few moments of class to try to hone into your breath here. Try to deepen your inhale. Be intimate with your breath today. And if this pose is too much to ask your body, every now and then you can lean yourself up into a tabletop to relieve the pressure on the knees and then come back down into it. If you wanna activate the arms, maybe you come high to those fingertips, really stretching and reaching out in front of you, activating the back muscles as well here. Maybe some of you just want to bring your hands together in a prayer and fold them up over your head, getting a tricep stretch here. Just getting a little bit of movement in the child's pose. Take about three more breaths here. Take one more deep inhale here and a deep exhale. And slowly find your way into tabletop position. 
and begin your cat cow. So stack your knees right underneath the hips, drop the belly down, the booty up, and then gaze up as you breathe in. And then exhale, round the back like a cat. Pull the belly up. Beautiful. Again, inhale, drop belly down, booty up, gaze up. Think of the spine here. Exhale, press the earth away, round the back, tuck the chin. Pause for a moment, feel the stretch. Again, inhale, drop belly down, booty up, gaze up. Beautiful, one last time, round the back like a cat, press it away, pause right here, stretch the back. Inhale, drop belly down, booty up, gaze up, pause right here, feel the stretch. Beautiful, last time, round the back like a cat, and then come back to a neutral spine. Curl your toes under and hover the knees one inch above the earth. to build some fire in the body here. Two more breaths. Take the knees and bring them over to the left side. So twisting at the core and then bring them over to the right side. Again, back to the other side and back to the right. One last time to the left. One last time to the right. Come back through center, stay here. Take that right leg, reach it behind you. Take the left leg, reach it behind you, high plank pose. If it's too much, drop your knees to the earth. We chaturanga, lower down as slow as you can. Hug the elbows in, lower down all the way to the belly. Peel the chest up for cobra, bhujangasana. Roll the shoulders back, look up, getting into the throat. Curl the toes under, lift up for downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, shake your head, yes and nod it. No yogis. Breathe. And separate the feet of little bit like hip distance maybe come high to the tippy toes and drop the heels over to the left nice come back high drop your heels over to the right and come back high drop the knees down hover one inch above lift the hips up high and drop the heels down lift your left leg up high point and flex the foot rotate through the ankle and reverse the rotation. Bend the leg, look up and under that left arm, stretch that front body, and slowly shift yourself into the high plank, bring that left knee to the left tricep, hold it here. Left leg comes high, nice and slowly, bend the leg, look up and under the left arm again. Right back to where we were, shift into that plank and hold it, left knee to the left tricep, three, two, one more, left leg high to the sky. Beautiful, this time bring it through, right back where you were, but set it down for dragon pose. Try to hover the foot and drop down to the back knee, release the right shoelaces, whether you're high on the hands or you drop low to the elbows. Try to keep that left knee stacked on the heel. It's gonna wanna push out to the side, but keep it here. Breathe, yogis. If you want to fly, opening chest and heart, take the left hand, reach it up high. All right, twist through that left wrist, snap the fingers, maybe reverse rotation. If you want to go a little deeper and grab the back foot, go ahead and bend the leg. Grab the foot with that left hand, stretching into that right quadricep. If it makes more sense to come high to the right hand versus that right elbow, then be here. One more breath. Release that foot, bring the left hand down. Press yourself up, left leg comes high, three-legged down dog. And we bring it through for low lunge. Set it between the hands, drop down to the back knee. Root down and rise up, squeeze your hips, pull the belly in, reach up as high as you can, all right? So those of you that are practicing a little bit deeper, you're gonna sink down, all right? Those of you that are just starting yoga, you're gonna stay right here, all right? If you're doing any Injury, if you feel pain in the poses, just back yourself out a little bit. Right arm forward, left arm back, look to the back thumb. Exalt, drop the left hand behind. Curl the back toes under and see if you can tap that heel 
with the left hand and then reach to the back, all the way to the back. Beautiful, both arms come high, inhale. On the exhale, hands to the earth, sit back halfway. Breathe, you can pull the toes high to the sky, rocking back. If you wanna take nice, strong, humble arms for balance, you can squeeze the arms behind the back and drop the head down. If that's too much, just bring the hands to the earth. All right, try not to collapse on top of that right foot. We're still nice and high. One more breath. Go ahead and bring the hands down if you got them up. Bend into that left leg. Press your hands into the earth. Lift up. Step back into a high plank pose. We chaturanga. Lower down halfway. Inhale upward. If you need to drop to the knees, no big deal. Look up to the sky. Getting into Jalandahara. Curl the toes downward facing dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Mm, take that right leg, lift it up high. Point flex, rotate through that ankle. Reverse that rotation. Bend the leg, look up and under the right arm. We're stretching the front body here. And then shift yourself slowly into the plank, right knee to the right tricep, press the earth away, round the back like a cat. Again, right leg comes high, stretch the front body, bend the leg, look up and under. And then we bring it back through, right knee to the right tricep, hold it here. Beautiful, right leg comes high, bending leg, looking up and under. And this time we float that right leg through slowly and step it into dragon pose. Drop down to the back knee. Right, whether you're high on those hands or you drop low to the elbows. Again, the knee stays stacked on the heel. Breathe. If you wanna fly, you can take that right arm high to the sky. Twist to the wrist if it's up. Snap the fingers. Beautiful, one more breath. Go ahead and bring that hand down. Press into the earth, right leg comes high to the sky. Yes, bring it through for a low lunge. Step it between the hands, drop down to the back knee. Yeah, reach the arms, squeeze the hips, pull the belly in. All right, this time left arm forward, right arm back. So modification brings that back leg to 90 degrees. Curl the back toes under to make this whole process easier. That right hand's gonna tap right on top of that heel and then reach to the back all the way. Maintain your balance. Beautiful, both arms come high, inhale. Bring the hands to the earth on the exhale, sit back halfway, half Hanuman. Sit back, keep that left leg at 90, maybe the heel. You rock back on it, toes are high. If you want humble arms, clasp the hands behind the back, drop the top of the head down. La, 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 la. Bend into that right leg. Curl the left toes under at the same time as you press in, you step back without dragging the foot. High plank pose. Reach at the runga, lower down. Inhale, upward, exhale, down dog. Stay in down dog, five breaths, yogis. La, 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 la. One more breath here. Lift the left leg up nice and high. And bring it through for a warrior two. All right, roll your shoulders down away from the ears, the gaze out over the left middle finger. Check the back arm, make sure it's lined up with the one in the front, it likes to fall, right? All right, reverse, right hand drops, left arm reaches. Try to straighten that left elbow as much as you can. It's a nice straight left arm. Left palm of the hand points towards the back. Breathe, sink down lower, floating side angle or extended side angle. You'll rest that left forearm on the leg for support if you need it. Right arm comes over the head. Yes, nice Tiffany. If you wanna float, breathe, maintain your breath either way. 
slowly reverse the warrior. Stay low in the lunge. Yeah, straighten the front leg and then reach to the back. Reach to the back. Beautiful, trikonasana, reach forward with that left hand as far forward as you can go. And then hinge, tilt, look up to that right thumb, straight up to the sky, All right? So it's like you're reaching up, pressing that right hip forward, pulling the right shoulder back at the same time. All right, take the right hand, extend, bring it over the head. Bring it down to the earth for pyramid pose, shorten your stance, frame the foot, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold down, chin to shin versus forehead to leg. Notice the difference, yogi. If you want the humble flamingo, point your fingers towards the back of the mat behind that left heel, rock forward just a tiny bit and attach your thigh and your knees together here. Lifting that right foot up, activating the foot. Hanumanasana, the hands will point towards the top of the mat. Lift that right leg high to the sky for a standing needle. Maybe you bend the right leg and grab the foot behind the back and lift. Yogi squat, get there slowly. Get there slowly. Bring the hands to heart center. Tighten Mula Bandha here, Uliya, the Bandha, your stomach and your perineum. Close the eyes to get into Jalandahara, stick the throat the chin out and then drop the head down. Three breaths here. Three Ujjayi breaths, yogis. Two more. And we come from here to a low plank pose. So place your hands on the earth, lift that booty up and then step back. Yes, inhale upward. Exhale, down dog, breathe. Take your right leg high. Bring it through for warrior two. Yes, line it up, strengthen through the bottom and then through the top. Reach out as far as you can reach, right? Opposite directions. If you feel like you're leaning forward, bring that spine straight up to the sky. All right, knit the ribs in, sink down low. Breathe. All right, reverse the warrior. Left hand drops, right arm reaches. That right hand, the palm faces the back of the room. Straighten that right elbow, yes. Extended side angle or floating side angle. You'll just keep that right arm either in the air or you're gonna ground it. Left arm over the head, look up to the sky. Breathe. We slowly reverse, stay low in the lunge, use the core, think of the spine. Straighten that front leg, reach to the back. Reach forward all the way for trikonasana, reach, reach, reach. And then the right hand lands, left arm reaches high, right on top of it. All right, pressing that left hip, forward, pull the left shoulder back. Extended, bring that left hand over the head for a moment, getting that awesome side stretch again. And then pyramid pose, frame the foot, shorten the stance. Take a deep inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold down. In the humble flamingo, point your fingers towards the back of the mat. All right, rock forward just a bit, attach the thighs, activate that left foot as you pick it up off the ground. Trying to keep that right leg at the same angle as your pyramid pose is the challenge. Modification brings that right leg straight up to the sky. All right, standing needle, bring the hands to the top of the mat, point your fingers 12 o'clock and then lift that left leg up. Those of you that are fine here, stay here or bend the left leg, grab the foot behind the back with the right arm. Breathe, press that knee up high to the sky. Beautiful, release the foot, drop the left foot to meet the right, bend the knees and slowly roll up. One vertebrae at a time. And once you're up, circle the sun, reach up. Exhale your hands to heart center, yogis. Close your eyes here. Now that you're nice and warm, think of your sankalpa. What is it that you need here today? 
What do you need to let go of? What are you grateful for? All right, positive things. When you're ready and you have your sweet intention, keep your hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Send it out to the world. Again, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. Nice job, yogis. One more time. We love threes. Inhale. Open up, exhale. Beautiful. Circle the sun. Sun salutation. A. On the exhale, fold the body in half. Inhale, lengthen halfway. And chaturanga. Step or hop back high to low. Urdha mukha sabasana. Audha mukha. Look forward, step or hop to Padastasana. Inhale halfway, exhale full and circle. Hasta Uttanasana, go back if you can. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold the body. Inhale halfway, Chaturanga, step or hop back, high to low. Breathe into your upward Uddha Mukha. Exhale to downward Aldo. Step or hop into Padastasana. Fold the body. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. And circle. Come on up all the way. Go back if you can. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Fold the body. Inhale halfway. Look forward. Chaturanga, step or hop back, high to low. Breathe into your upward, rolling the shoulders back, pausing. Exhale to down. Float forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Come on up all the way. Exhale, hands to heart center. Intention, yogis. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, fold. See if you can do these with your eyes closed. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, step or hop back, high to low. Inhale, two upward. Exhale to down. Look forward, float forward. We inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. And circle, come all the way up. Reach your arms up. And finally, bring your hands to heart center. Close your eyes now. Feel the echo. Beautiful, when you're ready, reach your arms up nice and hot. Right. And we're gonna tilt. So some of you are gonna want your feet a little separated. Some of you are gonna want them closer together, all right? If it's better for you to take that right arm and slide it down the leg so you can get deeper, all right? Look up and under that left arm. Breathe, don't lose the breath here. And slowly come up, both arms will come high, inhale, inhale. On the exhale, you can drop into the other side. Look up and under that right arm. Beautiful, come back up high, both arms high. Beautiful, sit down in your chair pose, Utkatasana. Try to lift either your toes up or your heels up. Making it a little bit more challenging. Bring your hands to heart center. Take two more breaths here. If your toes are up or heels are up, go ahead and set them down. And we're going to pulse slow for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a twist. Right elbow hooks on the outside of the left knee. Right. Float, fly, or gently step that right foot all the way to the back for twisting lunge. Get there slowly, yogis. Beautiful. So if your hands are at the armpit, try to get them to the center of the chest, deepening your twist. If it's too much, you can always set that back knee on the earth. Drop the right hand down, reach the left arm high, split the arms. A water wheel, just lift that upper body. All right. Keeping right arm forward, left arm back. Again, looking to the back thumb. Exalt, drop the left hand behind, right arm reaches up. 
Right hand down to the earth on the inside of that foot. Left arm reaches high. This very small modification here. Point your toes to nine o'clock. We fall to the outside edge of that right foot. We go from here to here. Yes. Right arm presses into the earth. Left arm reaches up high. Stack right on top of each other. We're getting into the IT bands here. Breathe. Side plank, left piece fingers to the big toe, press into it. Modification, you drop the right knee down and then you lift. Otherwise, you're coming right into it. Breathe, yogis. Bring that foot to the top for Hanuman. Hanumanasana, set it down slowly. Your version of splits, wherever you are, you might be in a low lunge, no big deal. If you have a block under your thigh, maybe you have two blocks, one under each hand. Five breaths. You guys like that Christmas album, huh? It's Cascade right there. Yeah, it's good stuff. I hope you guys are listening to it at home and not my old Sunday one, but we'll see. Two more breaths here. All right. So if you're in the split, smile. If you're not, smile. Roll to the outer edge of that left. Wrap that right leg around. All right. Adjust your sitting bones so that you feel the bones on the earth. Modification, the left leg stays right where it's at. Advanced, you're going to fold that bottom foot under. Keep the right knee high. Sit up tall. Left arm reaches. Twist. Left elbow hooks on the outside of the knee. Look to the back. Those of you taking the bind, left hand will shimmy underneath that right knee, right arm comes behind for the bind. <laughs> yes, the, the pretzel, pretzel asana. Breathe, wring it all out, yogis. We're detoxifying here. Use your breath. Every time you exhale, squeeze and wring out. One more. Just switch to the other side. Keep the legs right where they're at, wringing it all out. Beautiful, come back to front. From here, we're gonna come into funky crow pose. All right, so keep your legs bent, hands come to the earth. Go ahead and just keep your legs crossed. If you're like, what's a regular crow pose? Well, in a funky crow, your legs are crossed, no big deal. Put the knees in the back of the armpits and lean forward with those strong chaturanga arms. Maybe you lift up one foot, maybe you lift up two. Balance. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. You have an opportunity here to stay in down dog. You can drop to the knees and take child's pose. You can jump into a regular crow pose. You can do whatever you like. Four more breaths. Two more breaths in peace, yogis. Whatever your body needs right now, take your time. Freezing in here. <laughs> Did you guys hear me say it's freezing in here? <laughs> it's not, it's not hot in here. Not today. It's all right. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna meet in down dog. We're gonna look forward, float into Padastasana, your forward fold all the way to the top of the mat, yogis. Inhale halfway, exhale fold. Root down, rise up, reach the arms up nice and high. And bring the hands to heart center. So if the last time your feet were together, separate them. If they were separated, bring them together. Sit down in your chair pose. All right, try to have a, a straight spine here. It's easy to want to be rounded, but try to flatten your back, even if that means you got to tuck the tailbone under, get into the quadriceps. It makes it a lot more challenging, right? Breathe. Sing down though. We've got like eight, seven, six, five more, four, three, two, 
One, stay low, 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 low step up. Take the left elbow on the outside of that right knee, all right? This is a very slow transition. Take that left foot, float it to the back of the mat for that twisting lunge. All right, the hands are gonna sneak back up to the armpit. We're gonna press, get them to the center, look up and over that right shoulder, getting into Jalandahara, your throat, your thyroid. Drop the left hand down, right arm reaches high. Breathe. Water wheeling, just lift the body up. All right, we're still high on those back tippy toes. Exalting, dropping right hand behind, left arm reaching. Remember, straight arms here, no bends in the elbows. Left arm comes down to the earth, right arm comes high. All right, taking a breath, taking one moment here, and then just point your toes to three o'clock. Fall to the outer edge of the left foot, still stacking your wrist joints. Breathe. Side plank, right piece fingers to the big toe. Modification drops the left knee down and then we lift. Otherwise, bring the right leg high. Breathe, press that earth with the left hand. When you are ready, get that foot to the top for Hanuman. Get there, solo, solo, though. Oh, that side's a little bit tighter than the other side. Is this anybody else's tighter side? Yeah, I wonder. Is everybody that nodded yes right-handed? I'm no doctor, but. Close your eyes, three more. Those of you in full split, maybe you fold forward or backwards. Fall to the outside edge of that right. Slide that left leg around. Okay, adjust the meat on the booty. You want to feel the bones on the earth, all right? Modification, you're, you're here already. You're just gonna come into the twist. A little bit more, you're gonna fold in that bottom foot. When you're ready, reach the right arm high so you get that, that lengthening, right? Inhale, and then as you exhale, you're gonna hook the elbow and look to the back. Really, really wring it out here. So this is the part that's really cool. Take the right hand and shimmy it underneath that right knee. It doesn't have to go far. It doesn't have to go far. Take the left arm behind. Maybe the hands hook up, maybe they don't. Look to the back. Wring it out, yogis. Slowly shift to the other side. Look over to the right. We're just wringing it all out here. Come back to the front, funky crow pose. Bring your hands here. Go ahead and shimmy, figure it out with your legs. Keep the legs crossed in your crow pose, in your funky crow pose. A low plank, up dog. Separate the knees and sit back in child's pose. Connect the toes. Maybe your forehead's on the earth. Maybe you can flatten the back and get the chin down. Danielle, did you make it in here? Yes, okay, I see you. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. I couldn't see back here. All right. And when you're ready, yogis, let's come into downward facing dog, our home base. Our home base, downward dog, Algo Mukha Savasana activates every single muscle inside the body, prepares you for practice and keeps you activated all throughout, all right? resetting our muscles, our joints. Take your left leg high. Bring it through for Virabhadrasana, one. 
Ekum. Yes, yes, yes. So modified, your feet will be off center, right? For you're practicing balance, you're gonna put your heels right in the same track. Sink down, reach up high. All right, try to pull the left shoulder back. Cactus the arms. Straighten the arms, look up to the sky, stay in the back bend. Reach forward, offer, extend, lean out over that left foot, bring the arms out in front of you. Try to line up your ears and your biceps. If you can bring the arms back behind the head, kudos, kudos. Clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest and heart. Breathe in. Exhale, fold forward for humble. Some of you for modification, you're going to set that left shoulder right on top of that left knee. Others are going to drop the top of the head all the way down to the earth. Squeeze the palms together. I know a lot of you, I see the fingers are attached, but get the palms of the hands together. All right. One more breath. Release the hands down to the earth. As you straighten that left leg, walk it out to a wide-legged forward fold. All right, a wide-legged down dog's gonna keep your arms way out in front of you as you drop the chin, flatten the back, and look behind you or under your legs. Is that behind? That's still behind us, yeah. Think of lengthening through the spine. Shake your head yes every now and then. No tension, no tension. Beautiful, walk the hands right back underneath the face all the way through the other side now. Notice any difference? Again, a gentle shake and nod with the head. Those of you that wanna come into your headstand, forearm balance, take your time, yogis. Keeping the head below the heart is yet still a king of all poses. You don't actually have to be in the headstand to be in the king, right? even though the king uh, of all poses is the headstand. Nice, Danielle, breathe. Nice, Tiffany. Nice, Tracy, breathe. If you're up, be slow and gentle, bring it down. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Take the left toes and hook them on the back of the right ankle and take your chaturanga. Inhale, you can take 500 push-ups in between if you want to add more. If you want to add less, just meet us in down dog. Lift your right leg up high. We bring it through for Virabhadrasana Ekam, warrior one. So again, see how the front body wants to face over in that corner? Just try to pull it that right shoulder back, trying, attempting to square off the hip points. It's almost impossible for me, so. All right, breathing, sinking, same thing here, yogis. Nice, strong legs. Go ahead and cactus the arms. We're opening the chest up here. Look up to the sky, all right? Stay in this back bend, just straighten your arms. Look back if you can. And now reach forward, extend out over the legs. Try to line your ears and your biceps up. Beautiful, clasp the hands behind the back. Open the chest up first, squeeze the palms together. Remember, not just the fingers, the palms. Drop the head down for humble. Try to get those hands up and over the head. This is a really good stretch for the shoulders as well. Beautiful, release those hands down to the earth. As you straighten that right leg, walk it out to a wide-legged forward fold. We're gonna come into tripod together. All right, tripod headstand drops the top of your head to the earth. Remember, if you're new to this, there's no pressure in the neck, all right? You're using those strong chaturanga arms, all right? Your upper body's holding you up, not your neck here. Shimmy those feet so that you can take the left Knee and put it on the back of the left tricep, right knee on the back of the right tricep. And maybe tomorrow you lift. Remember, if your neck is vulnerable and wobbly, don't do this right now. Come see me after class. It's all about the arms, all right? Maintain your balance. This is your first steps in getting into Sirshasana, your headstand, the king. 
Beautiful, nice, Jess. Excellent. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Try to come down without waking the neighbors up in the back. When you're ready, come down slowly. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Take the right toes, hook them on the back of the left, and take your chaturangas. If you want to add five push ups, you can add five. You don't have to hook those toes, but you'll notice it's a little bit more challenging. We'll meet in down dog. Breathe, stay in down dog. Four breaths. Check back in with your intention and yourself. Say hello and good morning to you. Thank yourself for showing up to class today. As busy as your day is. Who still has packing to do? Say aye. Wrapping. Breathe. When you're ready, from down dog, drop to the knees for tabletop. We're gonna thread the needle, getting into the shoulders a little bit more. Take your right arm high and thread the needle all the way underneath. We'll set the right temple on the earth, right cheek to the mat, left arm's gonna wrap around the back. All right, think of all these cool rotations with the arms, all right, we're getting in. All right, take your left leg, straighten it. Maybe the toes stay on the earth, maybe you lift it up high to the sky. If you fall, good, you're doing it right. Remember I told you in India, they put us in these poses just to come over and push us out of them. When we're not even looking, you know? When we're not even looking, they push us out. Uh -huh. And we come back into it. Now take that leg down, lift the other leg up high. Why? Why not? Lift the other leg high. If you're fumbling and falling out, good. So is everybody else. You guys got this. That's why I put you here so you could fall out. It's almost, not impossible, but it's almost impossible if you're not into this, right? It's your first few times. Go ahead and come out. Release. Bring that left arm down all the way up with the other arm. Bring it back down. So this time, take your left arm high. Thread the needle all the way underneath the right. Left temple to the mat. Wrap the right arm around the back. Again, rotation in the shoulder. Breathing. Take the leg high, the right leg. It doesn't matter which one, we're gonna do both of them. But notice, notice which side was easier. Maybe now that you know where we're going, you have a little bit more stability and grounding, balancing, maintaining the breath, excellent. You see, we laugh when we fall out. Don't ever lose that childish innocence. Bring that leg down, bring the other one high to the sky. Why, why not? Why not? It's Christmas, that's why. It's Christmas, it's the reason for everything, right? We want to fall out of this. Come on out slowly, yogis, excellent job. Take that arm you had underneath and bring it all the way high first and then set it down and then set it down. Puppy stretch, we're gonna walk those hands out in front, drop the chest and the chin down, reaching the arms way out in front of you. The higher the booty, the better. Try to get your knees directly underneath the hips if you can, not too wide of knees. All right, try to get your chin to the earth versus the forehead, because that's where that arched back really comes from, okay? Bring the hands together in prayer, fold them up over your head. Breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Three more breaths. When you're ready, slowly come out. Come into a child's pose, closed legged or a rabbit. Rabbit, you're just gonna grab the heels and lift. And when you're ready, come on out slowly. Go ahead and slide down to the belly. Slide down to the belly. 
We're nice and warm right now. Let's get into our shoulders a bit more. Scooch over to the right side, Matt. Reach your left arm out to the side. If you've been doing yoga a long time, cactus that arm. Cactus the arm. Yes. <laughs> and then roll to the left side body. That right leg, right knee is going to be high. The foot can set behind the left knee. You're going to wrap the right arm around the back. Thank you, Jess. And those of you that want to go a little bit further, fold the bottom leg under and put that foot right inside that knee socket. And then you can begin to heel toe your foot closer to this side mat over here. Yeah, just to go deeper if you wanted to. Nothing like a lying pretzel right on the floor. All good stuff to ring us out, yogis. Close your eyes. Take two more breaths. When you're ready, come on out. Come to the other side. Counter posture will be the other side. So again, if you cactus on this side, cactus on the other. You know what I meant there. Yeah. Breathe. Bring your thoughts to the breath. Take one more breath here. Pull that shoulder back, 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 and then slowly come on out. Come on out. Bring both of the hands down by the side, left cheek to the mat. Just lie here for a moment. Feel the echo. Feel the echo. And put the right cheek to the mat. Beautiful chin to the mat. Flip your hands, palms will face down. And when you're ready, lift the chest, lift the chin. Lift, lift, lift. Yeah, see if you can lift your hands up too. Beautiful. Stay high, stay lifted. One more breath, lift, lift, lift. Bring it down low, bring it down low. Any cheek to the mat, it doesn't matter. Take one deep breath in and one exhale. Bend the legs, grab the feet, inside or outside, doesn't matter. When you're ready, lift into bow, B-O-W, bow pose, not boat, bow. I don't know, this looks more like a boat to me than the other one, but I didn't write it. Lift up high, press those shins to the back wall. Lift, 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 lift. This counts as your back bend, one of them. Back bends are in the top four most important yoga poses you'll ever take in your life, yogis. Go ahead, rest the body, rest the body. Any cheek to the mat, windshield wiper your legs back and forth, windshield wiper them back and forth. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you have, you have an option. You can come right back into that bow or you can come into seal. All right, so if you're coming into seal, I have lower back issues, so seal's not my best friend. All right, so if you have low back issues, just stay right here in Sphinx. Put the shoulder or the elbows right underneath here, right? If you're coming into seal, you're gonna begin by slowly straightening the arms. You don't wanna lock them out, we're not here. We're with a slight bend. Take the thumbs and point them 12 o'clock because that's what seals do. Yeah. And then as you progress, you'll be able to walk the hands back and lift up even higher. I'm not gonna go all the way because like I said, back, all right? And some of you are gonna be here because your backs are that tender, like mine. Take two more breaths here, lifting, lifting. Breathing. Ooh. When you're ready, come on down. Sit back in a closed-legged child's pose or rabbit. Closed-legged child's pose or rabbit. 
If you're at home, pick your own good meditation music. Slow it down. Our playlist is over already. It's all right. Okay, when you're ready, come to tabletop. Cross your ankles. Sit back on your booty and bring your legs out in front of you. Pashimatonasana. Seated forward fold. Yes, adjust the meat on the sitting bones so you feel the bones on the earth. Flex the feet. Keep the heels grounded on the earth, toes nice and high, activated. Reach your arms up on the inhale, exhale, fold forward, fold forward. Think of belly, chest, and chin. If you got a lot of rounding in your back, you're gonna hurt your low spine. So try to have a straight spine here. Even if that means you're barely leaning forward, at least your spine is straight and you can feel that tug on the back of the legs here, right deep into the hamstrings. Let's see. Breathe. You're ready. Come on up slowly, reverse tabletop or reverse plank. This helps to strengthen our pelvic floor. All right. Very important. So if you feel weak in this pose, try to stay in it as long as you can. Try to lift so high that your toes are touching. If you wanna get into your throat again, we look to the back. If that's too much, bend the legs and lift up and be right here in reverse tabletop. All right, again, you're squeezing the booty and lifting the hips up high to the sky. And if you're in that reverse plank, try to get the toes on the earth, one more breath. Nice, slow, they come down. Baddha Konasana, bring the soles together. You have an option. You can grab the feet and fold forward right here. If you want more of the diamond with the legs, bring your feet further out, hands come underneath. They tap the top of the feet and we drop the head down. All right, if you want the shoulders, you're gonna take the arms underneath the legs. Sometimes for modification, you can separate the feet just to get here. All right, and then bring the feet together and you'll feel the stretch, that inner rotation with the arms here, and then drop the head down. Final expression, clasp the hand behind the back. Breathe. When you're ready, slowly come on out. Come on up. Bring your legs out in front and shake out your legs. And open up to a wide legged straddle. Reaching the arms up on your inhale. On the exhale, walk the hands out in front of you. And try to keep the knees high to the sky. They're going to want to go forward or backward depending on your body shape. So just be aware of it, it's not mandatory. And again, we don't want to be here with the round back. We want to be nice straight spine, even if that means your hands are behind you and you're pressing your chest forward, right? Straighten the spine and then drop the chin to the earth, not the forehead. just check back in notice where your thoughts go when you're inside these poses here we're going to have a nice little yin before our meditation so we know yin is all about stillness right just noticing how much your body wants to move around and fidget and look at your watch your fitbit fit your fix your rings on your fingers I try not to do any of that. Just try to close your eyes and really be intimate with your breath here. See how much you can fill your lungs up and see how empty you can get them. You know, focus on this. Take two more deep, few jai breaths.
Beautiful. Go ahead and walk the hands back up. Nice straight spine. Take that right arm high to the sky. And we're going to come into a side stretch. We're going to get a release in that low back. So take your left temple and set it inside the left palm of the hand so that you're supporting your neck. So you can get a deep stretch here. All right. So the arm that's high, it's going to get uncomfortable. Maybe you take that right palm of the hand and you put it on the back of the head. All right. What we want to do here is really focus on that stretch in the lower right lumbar. So just breathe. Try to keep the right booty grounded. If it makes more sense to fold in your right leg, you can do that as well. Remember your sweet intention. Three more. Fill the lungs up all the way. They're that big for a reason, yogis. Take the last breath together. Inhale through the nose. Deep exhale. Come on up slowly. Just set the right hand on top of the right knee, left hand on top of the left. Sit up tall, close the eyes, deep breath in, feel your chest rise up. Hold the breath in for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open the mouth, let it go. Take your left arm high and sink into that side stretch. Rest the right temple in the right palm of the hand so that your neck is not vulnerable here. You can take that left hand on the back of the head for a little bit of support. And just notice the difference when you straighten it out. And some of you are gonna have that elbow on the ground. Some of you are gonna have it on the outside of the leg, some on the inside. Try to have it on the outside. Take two more here. Deep inhale. Feel the chest rise. Nice. Slowly. Come on up. Bring that left hand to the left knee, right hand on the right. Just sit up tall. One breath. Deep exhale. Nice job, ladies. Take that right leg. Bring it to the top of the mat. Coming into Gamukasana, cow face. Fold the bottom leg underneath. All right. Some of you are going to be here and here. As you progress, that leg will get over. You'll be able to stack the knees maybe on top of each other. It doesn't have to happen in this lifetime, right? All right. Those of you that want to include the arms, this is a really good stretch for the back of the neck. So if you have tech neck, you always looking down at your phone. All right, reach the right arm high, drop it behind. Take the left arm behind. Maybe they can meet up, maybe they can't. This is where towels and straps come in handy. All right, so press the head on the back of the arm if you can get it there. It's progression. If your arm's way over here and it's not there yet, don't worry about it. All right, take a deep inhale, lifting the chest. And then as you exhale, we fold forward. Getting uncomfortable here. We're remaining steady, calm breath. If the arms are too much for the last few moments, you can just rest the hands in front of you. When you're ready, release the arms. Slowly come on up. Take that right leg and bring it behind. For pigeon pose, set yourself up. If this is too much for your body to have the knee bent, your back hurts anything, you're going to come lying on your back, crossing the left, left ankle over right knee. This is your modified, okay? Otherwise, stay in proud pigeon with the body upright first for a few moments, stretching the front body, stretching into that right hip, really pull the shoulders back. Those of you that want to get into 
the proud, the beautiful, bend that back leg up. Maybe you just turn the body and look at the foot today. Maybe tomorrow the right hand will grab or touch the foot. Maybe the next day you grab on. If you want, you can take the full bind here. Full final expression, you're in the back bend, which you know I'm not gonna do in this lifetime Ugh, with both arms behind, you know? Like you don't have to do these final expressions, yogis. That's not what it's about. Close your eyes here. Stay in the upright, wherever you are. If you've got the bind, slowly release it. If you're up, take a breath in first before you surrender. On the exhale, walk the hands out. Try not to rest your body's weight on the elbows. Really bring the whole head down to the earth if you can. Maybe you're using a block here underneath the head. You can bring the arms down by the side maybe. Just make sure you can put all the weight. All the weight on that left hip. Breathe, yogis. Bring your thoughts to gratitude. Surrender three more. Be with those breaths. When you're ready, take the last breath together. Inhale through the nose. Deep exhale. All you got to do, keep that left leg bent. Take that right leg to the top of the mat for Janru Shirshasana. Left sole of the foot's on the inside. Reach the right arm high. Exhale, fold forward. When you're ready, slowly come on up. Keep that left leg bent. Take the right leg behind you for pinwheel or deer. All right, take the arms high, inhale. On the exhale, right through the center, fold forward. And just see if you can walk your hands over to the right, just a little bit. And then back through center, over to the left side, not too far. Maybe wrap the left arm around the back. Excellent job, Yogi. Slowly guide yourself up. Bring both of your legs out front. Shake out your legs. Feel the difference. Feel the prana, the life, right? Take the left leg, cross it over. Bottom leg folds under. Same thing, Yogis. Try to stack the knees. It's not mandatory. Take the left arm, reach it up high. Take the right arm behind for the bind. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. All right. Maybe they're in that direction. You have a towel or strap, go ahead and use it. The head, head, if it's on the back of the arm or the back of the head is on the arm, you can press into the arm. Take a deep inhale and then as you exhale, fold forward. And again, if those arms behind you are just too awkward to where your body can't get the benefit of the pose, just put your hands out in front of you like this. 
Breathe. Maintain your breath. Surrender two more. The last breath here. Slowly, come on up. Take that left leg and bring it behind. For the pigeon, again, modification is gonna lie you on the back, crossing right ankle over the left knee. Staying up in proud pigeon, right? Five breaths, you know you have different options. You can stay right here. If you wanna work on that bind, you just take the upper body and just shift it, Look, you know, looking over that left shoulder. And then maybe tomorrow you pick up the back foot and grab onto it. If you can take a full bind, take a full bind. If that's out of the question, just stay facing forward. Peel the shoulders back, look up. Whenever we look up or we're looking down, we're activating the thyroid gland here. I'm looking right and we look left, right? Every pose activates the thyroid. You just gotta find out how and where. Breathe, yogis, it's up to you. Yeah, so tip, look to the right. Look right. Yeah, it's hard, right? Like, no. <laughs> Breathe. Maintain your breath. If you are up, stay with that last exhale slowly. Go ahead, release, walk it down. Walk the hands all the way out in front so you're not putting the weight on the elbows, okay? The weight's on the thigh. Reach them further out front or down by the side. If you need that weight on the elbows at first, no big deal. Use your hands. Use the support that you have. As you progress, you'll be able to remove the weight. Breathe, yogis. Bring your thoughts back to the breath, back to the sensations that the body is feeling. Back to you. Everything else outside of this door still happening. Don't worry about it now. Now it's all about you. Breathe, surrender the weight. Took the last breath here. When you're ready, come up slowly. All you gotta do is take that left leg and slide it around for John Ru. Take the right sole of the foot on the inside of the left thigh. All right, reach the arms up high on that inhale and exhale, fold forward, yogis, fold forward. Maybe you have a towel or a strap around that foot. Yes, excellent. Really try to, again, flatten the back. Maybe the gaze is at your beautiful toes, pedicures, or no pedicures. Fold the body, feel that stretch in the low spine all the way up through. Nice job, yogis. Slowly, come on out. Was that it? I feel like I missed something. Oh yeah, pinwheel. Yes, thank you, Jess. Take that left leg, whip it behind for deer or pinwheel. Let's see what that is in Sanskrit, shall we? All right, 
So fold forward right through the center. We got right leg forward, left leg back. Maintain your breath. When you're ready, slowly come out. Bring both of your legs out front. Mrigyasana, Mrigyasana, M-R-I-G, Yasana. Yep, we'll have to do a sound check on that one. All right, take another deep inhale, fold forward one last time. Just check back in here, see what you got. And then slowly come on down to the backs, all the way down. Do a slow Pilates roll to the back and hug the knees into the chest. Hug it in, hug it in. A gentle rock side to side. Finding that happy baby here. Go ahead and lift arms high, legs high. Circling through the ankles and wrists again, maybe snapping the fingers one last time. You stay stacked in waterfall. If you have a block under the booty, cool. If you know you want to come into plow pose, you can come on into it. You can put the hands on the lower back. Remember, this is one of the top four most important yoga poses you'll ever take, yogis. Your neck is vulnerable. Don't look left or right. Keep the gaze up or just close your eyes here. All right. And try to get the feet all the way behind you. The queen, will, we will end in the queen with the legs high to the sky for the shoulder stand. So to get there, I'm going to stretch every muscle in the back of the body first, preparing us. And when you're ready, lift those legs up nice and high. For the queen of all poses, rapid cell rejuvenation happens here in the king and queen. Don't worry about flexing or pointing your feet. All right, just relax your body here. As you fold and fall into death man's pose, you're going to be tightening all three locks, Mahabandha your throat, your stomach, your perineum. Tighten everything here. This pose helps to cleanse the anal canal, keeps our digestive tract nice and healthy, helps to strengthen our pelvic floor as well. When you're ready, be slow and be gentle. Guide yourself out. Find your fish pose. Sit on the hands. Arch the back as much as you can. Stick the chest up to the sky. And then drop. Maybe not just the top of the head, but more towards the back. Whatever is good for you. You don't want to put the head so far back. All right? Not all the way back as far as you can go, but maybe just the back of your head touches the earth. Beautiful, slowly release, come on out. Hug the knees into the chest. Get there slowly. The spinal twist, airplane out the arms. If you wanna eagle the legs, you're gonna drop them over to the left or the right, you choose. You choose which way you want your spinal twist to go in today. Whichever direction your knees go in, Put your gaze in the opposite direction. Beautiful. If you took an eagle with your legs, maybe you scooched your hips to the right a little bit so you can deepen your twist. Breathe. If eagling the legs, wrapping them, crossing them is too much, just keep your knees stacked and then fall. your 
thoughts back to the breath. Deep inhales and deep exhale. Come into the other side, pause through the center first, hug them both in. And again, if you eagled, you can eagle again. If you just stack, stack, but scoot your hips if you're a scoocher. I'm a scoocher, I like to scooch. Breathe, feel your chest rise on the inhale. Feel your body twist, bring itself out on the exhale. Take one more. Deep cleansing Ujjayi breath. When you're ready and it feels right to you, slowly come on out. Hug both of your knees in. We're going to come to seated meditation for the first part of our last part of class. So roll, rock, start to rock and roll yourself up. Take about five, six, or seven rocks and rolls. This is just really good medicine for the spine right here. Yes. Absolutely, you might get a couple of little cracks and pops, that's good too. Welcome them, All right? Once you're done, come to that seated upright. If you have a block, put it underneath your booty. If you need a block, raise your hand. I'll bring you one or a bolster. I'll even bring you a bolster. I'll bring you whatever you want. Just gotta let me know what you need. <laughs> yes, all right, so sitting up nice and tall, the block. It's going to help take that interior tilt out of our low spine so that we are able to sit here. Got it. So that we're able to sit here longer without discomfort creeping in. Do you need something? Okay. All right. So sit up nice and tall. Your hands can be placed on the knees. Palms can face up or down. We're going to release Gaya Mudra. The index finger and the thumb will touch to balance the ego and the intellect. All right. The spine is straight. The chin's parallel with the earth. Check in with your posture every now and then. If you feel like you're sinking, pull yourself back up because that happens. Together, we'll take a deep breath in. Open the mouth for the deep exhale. Just try to be still, be calm. Your thoughts are going to wander off. Bring them right back to this moment right here and right now. Maintain that soft, but deep inhale.
Bring your thoughts back to the breath. You can stay seated upright. If you're ready to lie down in Shavasana, just move as slow as you can possibly move. It's important to not disrupt the energy inside the body that you're working so hard to calm. Keep your eyes closed if you can, if you're lying down. And again, move slow. Those that want to stay seated upright, you stay seated upright. Draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Scan the body. Notice everything. Maybe you've created more space inside the body. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Just relax, yogis. That's all you have left to do. If your thoughts wander off, bring them back to this moment, right here, right now. Take one more deep breath in here. One more deep exhale. I'm going to come around with a cold cloth for your forehead. And those of you that do not want the cloth, just slowly lift your hand in the air and then set it down. Try to be as still as you can be for the last most important part of your class.
begin to slowly wiggle through the fingers and toes. You twist through the wrist and the ankle. And slowly draw the knees into the chest. And roll over onto whichever side is more comfortable for you today. Just lie here in a moment of peace, love, and gratitude. Thank yourself for showing up today. Guide yourself up slowly. Move slow to your comfortable Sukhasana, cross-legged or Padmasana, or lotus. Keeping the eyes closed. Bring the hands to heart center. We'll take three breaths. On our third breath, we'll welcome our own to class. So sitting up tall, take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Again, inhale. Open the mouth, exhale. And this time with an ohm, a deeper breath in. Oh. I thank each and every one of you for showing up to class today. The divine, the love and the light inside of me honors and cherishes the divine, the love and the light inside of each and every one of you. Namaste. Good job, yogis. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope Santa visits all of you tonight. I think he will though, since you came to yoga. That's how it works. Yeah, it's going to be good. Thank you, Andrea. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. I hope you get gifts from Santa, too.